Welcome back to my channel everyone. If you are new, thank you for clicking on this video. Hopefully by the end of it, you'll want to subscribe and join my YouTube family. And for all of my subscribers, welcome back. So by the title of this video, you all already know that my Instagram followers chose my wash day routine. So if you all want to see what they chose, then let's get into this video. Starting off, I of course pre-pooed my hair, but this time I only did my ends. And I went in with this spray bottle that you see here, this mist bottle, and then I applied the Mayo Organics Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. Now this wasn't a poll that I did only because I don't have many oils, I don't keep many oils. So I just went ahead with this one specifically, and then I just went ahead, rinsed it out, and then next up you will see the options that I had for shampoo. So here we have the options for the shampoo and I went ahead and chose the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Creme Curl Quenching Shampoo. Now when I originally checked this poll, Carol's Daughter was in the lead, but then the main choice caught back up, so then it was a tie. So I went ahead and chose the Carol's Daughter one and you all, I am blown away with how this shampoo made my hair feel. It was so moisturizing but also clarifying it actually cleansed my hair really well and I'm just glad that I chose this shampoo because this is what I needed for this wash day and yeah so I see why a lot of people rave about this entire line I've already tried the conditioner this was my first time trying the shampoo and I am I am really pleased with it so I'm just gonna go ahead work it into each section and then I will move into my deep conditioner. Quick side note, a little does go a long way. So be careful with how much you use because it lathers a lot. Um, and yeah, so you don't need a lot. Next up, we have the winner of the deep conditioner poll and it is from Curly Beauty. It is their banana nut and avocado deep treatment that is supposed to strengthen, condition, and add shine to your hair. This was also another product that I've never tried before, so this is my first time using it. And I'm glad that you all chose this deep conditioner because I really enjoyed it. So this product is very, very thick. And it does state to apply as much as you need. So I applied a lot. I'm very heavy handed, especially when it comes to deep conditioners. And I found that the more that I was applying this product to my hair, it made my hair feel more moisturized. It made my hair feel more soft. So this is another product I will definitely recommend to you all. And after allowing it to sit in my hair for about 15 minutes, I just took the deep conditioner off and detangled. Detangling was a breeze. So just to let you all know, every product that I am using in this video, along with every product that is in the polls, you can find at your nearest Sally Beauty. No, this is not sponsored, but if you all are following me on social media, on Instagram, then you all know why I am promoting Sally Beauty so hard. So if you are not following me, go ahead follow me and click on this post that you see here so that you all can know why but just to give you all just a little small little tidbit i am in the running to be the next sally beauty influencer for textured hair so go check out that post now next up for leave-in conditioners you all voted for the main choice softest can be three in one revitalize and refresh conditioner the voting says it for itself you all must love it or you all just wanted to see me use it i have used this conditioner before and i love it because it soaks right into my hair immediately every time that i use it it makes my hair feel very very soft i know it's called soft as can be but it really makes your hair as soft as it can be so i always apply my leave-in conditioners while in the tub because it gives my hair time to soak in the product prior to me styling my hair and yeah so basically i'm just applying it to each section braiding down the section and then i will be applying a conditioning cap to my hair and then applying a microfiber towel i don't apply the microfiber towel directly onto my hair because i don't want it to take back the product that i just applied to my hair 
I don't know why, but I didn't notice this until now that the my forehead was red. I don't know why, but I will say that after applying all of these products, my hair was really, really itchy. I don't know which product made it that way, but that's besides the point. <laughs> but I just wanted to let you all know that. Next, we are going to style my hair, and I did not put up a poll for oils, like I said it before, because I don't own many oils. So the oil that I chose to go in with to seal in the leave-in is the Main Choice Multivitamin Scalp Nourishing Hair Growth Oil, and then the styler that you all chose for me to use is from the Main Choice as well, their Tropical Moringa Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Pearly Braid Out Glaze. Um, this glaze is thick, but creamy at the same time and funny thing is you all decided for me to do a braid out so it's funny how I'm doing a braid out with a braid out glaze so this should be very very interesting so I am doing a chunky braid out because it is quicker to uh, to do a chunky braid out and it's quicker to take down a chunky braid out because braid outs in general take a lot of time to take down so I was trying to make this as easy as possible for me to do when it was when it's time for me to take down my hair Of course, when I'm going section by section before doing the braid, you always wanna make sure that you are detangling that section so that you have the best results when taking down your hair. Um, I will say when applying this glaze, this is a very sticky, sticky glaze. This kind of reminds me of the gel from their Count on Core uh, collection. Um, it has a similar consistency, so it is sticky, very, very sticky. So I didn't want to have you all just sit through this entire braid down because I'm pretty sure you all have seen other YouTubers do braid outs, twist outs. So I just went ahead and fast forwarded to the last section of it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. To everyone who took the time out to vote on my polls, thank you so much because you all will see the final results. And comment down below letting me know if you all liked this kind of video and letting me know the results of what my followers on Instagram chose. So again, thank you all for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, bye.